I am speaking with Ben Parr. And Ben, you've got a stealth app, but you also write for. I have a stealth startup, and I am the uh, I am a columnist with CNET, among other things. You used to write for Mashable, and you have seen so many startups, and you think not all these startups are so fantastic. What's your attitude? Uh, so it's very straightforward, very simple. Most ideas suck. There's a reason why most startups fail. Usually it's because of execution, but a lot of times it's because they just go for a bad idea in a bad market. And here's the problem. Everyone coddles to them. Oh, you, you keep on working harder. Oh, that sounds good. I think if you did this, you'd be great. I'm more straightforward. I'm more direct because it's nicer for me to be direct. I go, all right, you have a terrible idea with bad design in a bad market. And then you should completely switch your idea or quit it. Because no one else will say this kind of stuff to startups, but they should. Because that would stop them from wasting time, money, and energy on something that was never destined to work. I've seen hundreds of thousands, I've seen thousands of companies. I've seen a lot of what works and what doesn't. Sometimes something's just destined not to succeed. And it's better for you to know that sooner than later. All right. So, you know, take, take, it, take the tough news, I guess. So, let me ask the basic question, if you can make a dividing line. What is it, a sucky idea and what's a great idea? Is there a dividing line, what makes a great idea versus a, one that stinks? It's, all, it's about the market you're tackling. It matters what the market size is, what, how much you can make off of it, what you're disrupting. If you're, if you're going after a market that only has a few thousand customers that will only spend a couple dollars, it's not a business. No matter how good your product is, it ha matters what market you're tackling. Sometimes you tackle a market that's huge but something that's not even a problem. Uh, can you define the ones that aren't even tackling a problem versus the ones that are? Frankly, <laughs> almost everyone's tackling a problem. You just don't, sometimes you don't see the problem you're tackling until you're tackling something else. But you're always tackling a problem, always tackling a problem. There is always an underlying problem startups are tackling. If you're not tackling a problem, you're not a startup. Now I know your company is in stealth, but how did you go about deciding what problem you were going to tackle? Lots of research and pain points, personal ones. So the, this, this stealth is going to solve a problem that you personally have? Always. I wouldn't be interested otherwise. All right, cool. Hey, Ben, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.